Hi, my name is Matt Saukeli, and I am on the DP Flow product team here at Emerson. Today, I will be walking through how to replace an Anubar RTD. In this video, we will be replacing the RTD in a remote mount Anubar flow meter. First, we will verify that we have all the tools and materials needed. We'll need a 7 16th inch socket, a small Phillips head screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, large flathead screwdriver, 11 16th inch wrench, large pliers, and a crescent wrench. Before starting your replacement of the RTD, make sure that the power is disconnected from the transmitter. Close all instrument valves to ensure that the pressure is isolated from the transmitter, and then open the bleed valves on the transmitter to remove all pressure. Remove the cap from the temperature housing to access the RTD wiring. Remove the wiring from the terminal block. Make sure to not remove the wires to the SMV transmitter. To remove the wires, insert a small screwdriver in the terminal slot and push the clip forward towards the wire and remove the wire from the slot. Remove the temperature housing from the transmitter head to access the wiring terminal. Remove the wires to the RTD in terminals one through four by unscrewing the plastic cap from the compression fitting to pull the cable outwards. Remove the hex nut for the transmitter to the anubar connection and then remove the transmitter. Set it aside. Using a large screwdriver, remove the plug from the anubar to expose the RTD wires. Remove the terminal block from the RTD housing by unscrewing the two connection screws. Make sure you keep the wires on the one side of the terminal block connected. Using a screwdriver while feeding the wires through the terminal block, carefully pull the RTD wires out from the nipple connection to the transmitter housing. Loosen and remove the RTD by inserting wires through a 7 16th inch or 11 millimeter deep socket. Then use pliers to rotate the socket and loosen the hex nut. Now that the old RTD has been removed, it is time to install a new unit. Reinstall the RTD and hand tighten the hex nut using the socket. Remove the RTD housing from the manifold using a wrench first and then using your hand once loose. Twist or tape the ends of the RTD wires together and then thread them through the connection port as shown below. Thread the wires through the opening on the connection head and pull through from the terminal block side. Reattach the RTD connection head to the manifold using your hands first and then tighten with a wrench. Reattach the RTD terminal block and the RTD wires. Make sure to attach red to red and white to white and then screw the cap back onto the connection head. Reinstall the threaded RTD plug using a large screwdriver. Reconnect the transmitter and hand tighten the bolts in a cross pattern. Insert the RTD wires to the 3051 SMB conduit entry and then reattach wires to the terminal block using a small screwdriver. Then screw the cover onto the back of the transmitter. That is how to replace an Anubar RTD.